In today's video, we're going to talk about had Walter Hamada stayed at DC, I hate to tell you this, crisis was coming. Henry Cavill's Superman had a huge part to play. So had Walter and all the Snyderverse fans not wanted Walter Hamada out, you would have got your Henry Cavill Superman instead of this young Superman, whatever DCU plan that James Gunn and Pete Safran are planning. Not that I'm against this, I'm just telling you what would have happened had Walter Hamada not gone anywhere. And we're also going to go over what really has been removed from the Flash movie because there is so many misleading reports out there. And now, guys, realistically, you cannot believe trades like Variety, especially Heroic Hollywood and The Hollywood Reporter and Variety. You cannot trust these trades because they are running stories like they're factual when they are rumored. It's almost to me like they're not vetting stuff, like they're putting stuff out there to get a reaction from James Gunn. So, yo, what is freaking good YouTube? What's you here? If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC pop culture based content that we try to do on a daily basis if you could subscribe to the channel turn notifications on and let me know down below are you freaking annoyed that had walter stayed your boy henry cavill would still be with dc it's very interesting also if you could check us out on instagram at wash to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice and also check us out on twitter or what's you g because someone freaking stole my wash you handle so let's get into this video so this is coming courtesy of the hollywood reporter i get it these trades cannot be trusted but let's just spin it because it's a trade it's not coming from a little fan website it's an actual publication so reportedly walter hamada had a long-range plan to bring Henry Cavill Superman back during a crisis event. Interesting. However, Dwayne The Rock Johnson had his own ideas to return Superman in his own movie, which ultimately was the downfall of Henry Cavill's Superman. It's really bad. The Rock had a position where he could have cameoed in Shazam 2. He's like, nah, I only play with the big leagues. Big leagues, your movie lost money and you haven't spoke about Black Adam. It went on digital yesterday. You didn't make one single tweet. So The Rock is done as Black Adam, and essentially, he's got a huge part to play in the downfall of Henry Cavill's Superman no longer being Superman. So let's read it word for word. Just staying on topic of the dream to bring Henry Cavill back. Dwayne Johnson wasn't the only one who had an idea. Former head of DC Films, Walter Hamada, was also working on a long-range plan to bring Superman and Cavill to DC's cinematic fold. Sources tell us... The cameos in the forthcoming DC movies of next year would had bread crumbed to a giant tenpole movie inspired by the now classical Crisis and Infinite Earth comics of the 1980s. The comics miniseries featured multiple timelines and heroes from other dimensions and Earth, just as the Flash movie has returning Michael Keaton, Ben Affleck in their Batman incarnations, and the next movie project would have returned Henry Cavill as Superman. Johnson, however, had his own plans and muscled in on Cavill's return, basically ruining everything. So all these Snyderverse fans going, yo, we want Walter Hamada out so we can get Zack Snyder just see two and three. You've really bit your own bullet here, lads. You really have, because if Walter was still there, we probably would have got the setup. So careful spoilers, I don't want to ruin your life. So at one point, this movie was going to end. Well, no, 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 let's be honest, not at one point. This is currently still the ending from what we understand is the movie's going to end with Ben Affleck Batman calling to Barry Allen, going, Barry, we need your help. Setting up a huge crisis event. We were so close, lads. We were so close. Is James Gunn to blame? No. We've done a video on it. I've told you I've broken down the real reason why James Gunn is rebooting and recasting everyone. Maybe not the Suicide Squad people or Peacemaker people. Essentially, Zaslav was really annoyed. They didn't make any money for Black Adam. They lost money, in fact. And allegedly, Ben Affleck was getting cold feet and didn't want to return properly. So they were like, screw it. Let's build a whole new DCU. We need to save money. And that is essentially the end of Henry Cavill. Superman. It is a shame. We were so close. Walter Hamada. Okay, cool. He wanted to go away from the Snyderverse characters. But the Flash movie was bringing everything back to the fold. And now, you guys, you probably won't admit it, but if this story is true from a trade, we would have got Henry Cavill Superman in Crisis with Ben Affleck, etc., which sounds 10 times better than a young Superman. We've had a young Superman in Smallville. We had it in the 90s Lois program. We've had a young Superman. Henry Cavill Superman did that. We've seen him as a child. We've seen it, all this. We needed a new kind of visionary 
a new take on the idea of Superman, which Henry Cavill had. He spoke multiple times. He spoke at Ace Comic Con in America. But telling these stories is about, it's about your enjoyment. It's about yeah. my enjoyment. It's about enjoyment for the viewer. And so we could spend four hours of movie explaining why and how Clark comes back. But is that what you want to see? No, right. I mean, if I, if I had billions and billions and billions of dollars and I could make six movies a year all based on Superman, then yeah, we'd go through that. It'd be like, sure. it'd be like Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <But. laughs> Can I borrow some money? <laughs> Just to, oh, this one's gone off. Um, hello? Hello? hello. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We had a nice conversation, I mentioned politics or money. <laughs> um, so, about all the plans he's got to do with Superman, and he's wanted it for such a long time, so I honestly feel bad for him. He's been screwed by The Rock and Danny Garcia's own management team, because guess what? Danny Garcia reps The Rock as well. Danny Garcia's biggest client is the Rock, his management team, he should scrap the management team. Yeah, I know he's got the Warhammer 40,000 franchise cinematic universe that he's building with Amazon Studios. That is cool, but he could have been Superman as well. So, Henry Cavill, if you're listening, you've been screwed by your own team. You really have. So, a lot of people are claiming that he had exclusivity on this scoop. So, it's recently come out that had Henry Cavill Superman done Man of Steel 2, Brainiac would have been the villain. And that's not really an exclusive, lads. I've seen loads of people going, yeah, yeah, we were right, we were right. I literally put a video out about five years ago saying that should happen. So, Man of Steel 2, essentially, was sources tell us Stephen Knight, the creator of Peaky Blinders, which is one of the greatest shows ever. He had a script out there, and Brainiac was going to be the villain, but apparently James Gunn and Pete Saffron didn't really want it. They didn't want that incarnation of it. So that was the mystery man of who essentially could have helmed Man of Steel 2. Before things go to the next level, which may or may not have included hiring another writer, given Knight's very busy schedule, Gunn and Saffron was hired. And development promptly ended. So there were, there were things in place. And also according to Fandom Wire, and I believe this because I've literally said this in multiple videos, Henry Cavill reportedly had a verbal agreement and not a written contract to keep playing Superman in DC going forward. And as I said, in some places, a verbal agreement is just as good as a written agreement. But I said, in fact, hell, I said it on a live stream that Henry Cavill had not put pen to paper. I literally said that. Yeah, well, Stu, you, you keep saying, I told you, so, because I did tell you so. I did tell you so. Keep listening. And why I said on Twitter, the Snyderverse is over. We're not getting Zack Snyder just League 2 and 3. Because we're not. You know why? Because we can't get Zack Snyder just League 2 and 3. Because Henry Cavill has to be involved. Henry has stepped away from the role forever. Okay, maybe not forever, but he's moved on. He's literally made a public post, Warner Bros. Discovery. They've all made him look like an idiot. So the Snyderverse is done with because Henry Cavill is no longer Superman. He's stepped away. So you need to kind of like move on. You know that scene in Endgame where Chris Evans, Captain America is like, people move on, but not us. Y you, you need to move on. So we could have had Henry Cavill Superman back. Walter Matter eventually had plans. And I mean, I know like websites like The Hollywood Reporter, Variety, Deadline, they're all pretty shady. Yeah, I get it. They're journalists. They're, they're really professional. But recently, all this information coming out about DCU, James Gunn keeps saying that only he knows that you're getting all these confirmed scoops from all these trades when realistically, they don't know anything. So I don't trust trades any more than I trust comicbook.com, if I'm being honest. So also in the news, let's go over this ludicrous story. So allegedly, Gal Gadot has been cut from the Flash movie. No, she hasn't. She's still in the Flash movie. And this is what I mean. So according to the Flash film news, exclusive sources close to production refutes the Hollywood Reporter claim that Gal Gadot has been removed from the movie. So, careful spoilers, I don't want to ruin your life. So, Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman gets involved when Batfleck is on the bike and there's some kind of action scene quite early on in the movie, okay? That's one scene that allegedly is in the movie because I'm hearing about 10 different versions of the movie now. Allegedly, there was supposed to be a Justice League scene at the start of the movie where the Justice League came to try to stop Barry Allen from running back in time and saving his mother from ever dying. What the hell are the Justice League going to do? The only one that could actually get anywhere near him would be Superman and Superman couldn't stop him either. So, also in the news, you also have to remember, careful spoilers that don't ruin your life, is Gal Gadot Wonder Woman has a huge role in Shazam 2. So you're gonna cut her from The Flash, but you're not gonna cut her from Shazam 2. And Shazam 2 is produced by the head 
CEO Pete Saffron is a producer on Shazam 2. David S. Sundberg, the director, has literally said the movie is locked. They're working on the 4K HDR version. So she's getting cut from The Flash, but she's not getting cut from Shazam 2. Literally makes no sense. So Henry Cavill was supposed to have a scene in this, although there is a scene that I don't actually think is real. So there's supposed to be an ending scene at the end of the movie with Gal Gadot, with Henry Cavill, with Michael Keaton, all green screened in to look like they're all talking about a teaser for the Justice League 2 and essentially was going to be some kind of crisis or crisis in Infinite Earth or some big team up movie. I don't know if that scene was actually true. What I know is Henry Cavill did film something and it was just a scene where Henry Cavill was literally in the Speed Force and Barry Allen was like, oh, so this is where you've been all this time. And that's it. So as far as I know, Gal was only supposed to be at the start of the movie helping Ben Affleck. I was only told about that and test screeners kind of said that as well. And the Henry Cavill scene is in the Speed Force. Oh, so that's where you've been. I don't know if this alleged Justice League teaser at the end of the movie is actually real because the test screen information it hasn't really changed even though they've screened it so many times. The end of the movie is Michael Keaton's at the end of the movie. They've axed the Aquaman post credit scene where they were going to talk about Superman and stuff like that and say he doesn't exist. They've axed that stuff. So as far as I know, there is so much nonsense going around from all these trades that they don't actually know what they're on about. And I've spoke to a, a, a few of these scoopers behind the scenes the thing with some of these scoopers is they always like claim they don't like youtubers but they all talk to the, every single youtuber so there's this persona they like to tweet stuff out that they hate youtubers and stuff but i mean i talk to a lot of these scoopers and that's not the energy they give me but yeah as far as i know gal is still in the flash movie but this deleted post credit scene i don't even think it exists but we never know I mean, maybe if The Flash comes out on Blu-ray, we might see the scene and then maybe it's there, but I can neither say it's true or not true, but that's the deleted scene they allegedly talk about. Henry Cavill, Superman, Gal Gadot, allegedly have some scene at the end of the movie, setting up crisis, essentially. Oh, we need to, there needs to be some way. And obviously we don't know what's going to go on, but if Ben Affleck was lost in time, it would be about finding him and all this kind of stuff, which it sounds cool, but ultimately... Walter Hamada would have brought Henry Cavill back eventually. And it turns out, whatever this plan is with James Gunn, I still believe the storyline that David Zasoff wanted to save money. He was annoyed after Black Adam lost money. So essentially, they're like, screw it, reboot everything, recast everyone. And there is a hilarious... Actually, no, we're not going to go over that. I was going to go over some room about who Henry Cavill could play in the future. But do you really think Henry Cavill will go back to DC after he's been screwed over for the last 10 years? No. I mean, I did come across something, but there's no point saying it because Henry Cavill ain't returning ever unless it's to play Superman. I guarantee he would return to play Superman if he had a contract in place. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at Wall Street to see beautiful face, pun, beautiful voice. Check us out on Twitter at Wall Street G and I'll catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later. <laughs>